Hi guys, just coming with you today with a short mini lesson about block chords in the style of Wes Montgomery. We'll cover a line today taken from his solo, Gone with the Wind, from his album, The Incredible Jazz Guitar of Wes Montgomery, and break it down to multiple improvisational concepts that hopefully you can digest and put back into your own playing. To get the most out of this video, you need a basic understanding of functional harmony, specifically being five to one resolutions and diatonic harmony. Without wasting any more time, let's just jump right into it. Let me play the line. One, two, one, two, three, four. This is a great line to finish off any musical idea, both in soloing and comping. Let's break down the two components that make up the DNA of what's going on here. The first concept that Wes implements here is what's known as passing diminished chords. This means that you use a diminished chord to get somewhere else as a passing in between either a chord or an idea. In this case, we use the diminished chord as a passing chord that subs for the dominant seven. I've included an exercise that goes up and down the G major scale utilizing this harmonic device. Let's check it out. First off, we have the inversions of G major six. Now all we do is on the in-between notes, we put in a diminished chord in there, like this. And now we put the diminished chord in. So basically, all we have is one major six, five, seven, flat nine, one major six, five, seven, flat nine, and so on. Pretty neat, right? Also, we added the sharp five scale degree into our diatonic scale to make the harmonic rhythm line up so all the chord tones land on downbeats. If you want to get to know this concept a little better, take a look into the major six diminished scale. Make sure to practice this chord scale in all 12 keys to get the most out of it. If you look at the line from Gone with the Wind, we can see this passing diminished idea used in the last half of the measure on notes C and A. Again, this is just 5, 1. So Wes is just thinking D7, G. The second component Wes uses in this line is chromaticism. He simply takes a chord shape and then approaches it chromatically. I actually wrote an exercise that showcases this. Let's check it out. Now the main idea here is chromaticism. So the pattern here is to approach the next chord shape in the scale an eighth note before you hit it. So we have all our diatonic chord shapes in G major. Again, I'm using G major six, not major seven. <laughs> Now we just go a half step below whatever chord we are going to play. This example utilizes this chromatic concept. Let's play through it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Here it is, slow. One, two, three, four. Wes uses this in our line that we took from Gone with the Wind to approach the inversions of G6 on beat three and on beat one. Now that we've broken down the West Montgomery line into two separate concepts, passing diminished chords and chromaticism, let's break that down and try to put it into our own improvisation. Try to take this line and play it in all 12 keys. 
you will need to learn this lick on multiple different strain sets in order to do this. I would use this line to finish off a musical idea in both my soloing and my comping. Also by writing out a diatonic line and harmonizing it using the concepts that we have discussed, you can greatly expand your block chord vocabulary and further digest this information. Here's one example of a line that I wrote out using these concepts. This is the line using everything we have gone over thus far. Let's check it out. Example number four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's break it down. First we have our chromatic chords going up the scale with a little rhythm added in. Then we have our passing diminished chords plus some chromaticism. Finally, we have the last part of our Gone with the Wind line to wrap it up with a nice melodic idea. Hopefully you found some of this information useful here in this little mini lesson. If you want more content, please go check out my YouTube channel where there's tons of transcriptions with free PDFs, live performances, solo guitar performances, and free lessons. Also go check out my website, NathanBorton.com. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Till then, keep swinging.